You've been working past sundown like this for days now. When does it end? Look who's here. We prepared everything for this picnic together. Come out and take a- Good. You prepared it together. You can go together. You won't be needing me. Now if you please- Won't be n- We did this for you, not for ourselves. I invited the builder because I knew they'd make this event that much more special. I know you're older than me, but I'm your brother. It can't always be you taking care of me, you know? I'm aware, Arvio. It is not my intention to question that. I'm sure you'll get a chance to take care of me. Soon. Just not today. So, if you please... Tell us about the order. What more do you have to do? It's for Pablo Spend and Atara. He's working on a display for a flower festival and wants his booth to stand out. The main pieces are finished. Now I just have about 10 or so more standard urns for the more common plants. 10 standard urns? They want to custom make and ship standard urns all the way to Atara? My craftsmanship is esteemed. My sister, know that my love for you is great and my respect for your talents is never ending. But an urn is an urn. This is a matter of quantity over quality. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? You really mustn't bother yourselves with this. I'm afraid we really must. It's as they say back home. Three heads are more than none. If you and I help out, we can finish this task in no time. And our lovely Rose here won't be forced to wither away. And instead, join us in the coruscating sunshine. What do you say? All right, our hands are your hands, Anne. So come on, let us help. Mm-hmm. It seems there's no stopping you two. All right. I believe it is- Woohoo! However, you must follow my instructions carefully. Simple or not, everything that comes from my shop has my- Dear sister, the only thing getting dragged through the mud today- Clay! Mm-hmm. Makes how many? Ten? Well, ow, I'm really sore up here. We should let them dry for now. I must say, I'm impressed. You took to the wheel like an old hand. Hey, hey, don't forget about me. My hand is old too. Of course. Thank you too, Avio. This was your idea in the first place, wasn't it? Now, I suppose I must be true to my word. Aha! And ask of you, is everything set for the picnic tomorrow? <laughs> of course, of course! Would you look at this fabulous basket the Builder brought? I've made the order at the Blue Moon. I'll just pick everything up on my way over tomorrow morning. Shall we say, around 9am? That sounds delightful. I look forward to seeing you too. Don't be late!
<laughs> that was a close one. Everybody all right in here? Hello. You must be the new builder. I'm Zeke. Now ain't the time for pleasantries, you big palooka. Look around. The whole moisture farm is trashed. I can't believe those darn lizardmen could be so audacious. This is a clear escalation. The good thing about plants, Justice, is that they grow back. We'll be fine. Is uh, that thing over there important, Zeke? It looks pretty busted up. Oh yes, the hydrogel. All the crops will die without that. What? You're joking, right? I can never tell if you're serious or not. No. <laughs> I'm afraid there's nothing funny about it. Without a replacement, we could be in dire straits. But this is something our new builder could help with, right? right. That's the spirit builder. This main part of the moisture machine, it's... Kinda rare, and it looks like we'll need a new one. Chi might know something. You should speak with him, you know. Sooner or later. All right, buckaroos. Look like we got ourselves a plan. Zeke, hold down the fort. You, head over to Cheese and figure out how to fix that hydro thing. Unsure? You're with me. Let's secure the perimeter. Yeah, I think our best bet would be to ask Chi. He may know a thing or two about the hydro gel. For the rest of the damage here, I'll probably just ask the other builder for help. Also, you can recycle the old hydrogel. Go ahead and whack it a few times with your pick hammer. Put it out of its misery. Good luck, builder. Seriously. Everyone is going to be counting on you. Out. Mm. Thanks. Yes? Are you here for the hydrogel? I've heard. I have a few ideas about how to make one. Good. These will do. I'll send a diagram directly to you. Oh, and one more thing. I'm quite certain that one of the materials you need for this, a condenser, can be acquired at the breach, a ruins in town that has been closed off by the Civil Corps for some time. Speak with Justice about letting you in. That will be all. You need to enter the breach. Huh. I don't know. The breach used to be an abandoned ruin. You know, one without monsters inside. It was safe for ruin diving. But recently, it started showing up again. So we closed it until further notice. We've been clearing it out, but there are still some monsters inside. On the other hand, this is a matter of life and death for us, isn't it? Well, I think I'll make an exception this time. All right, Builder. I know you can handle yourself. I'll open up the ruins for you. But be prepared. We still don't know why the monster suddenly showed up again. So be careful. Makes my blood boil more than knowing law. Hmm.
Owen went out somewhere for dinner. See ya. See ya. See ya. Mm -hmm. Oh. Oh, thank you. Ultimate weapon is nearly complete. VP, take care of this. I've got one last thing to do. Whoa, hey, there you are. We were just about to come looking for you. 
Justice was worried about you. Uh, yeah. I started getting kind of nervous after sending you into the breach by your lonesome. And, you know. Wait, did you say Gigglers? And you fought them all by yourself? And then you closed the hole in there? I see. <laughs> you know, Builder, you don't have to make this action hero stuff up to try to make us think you're cool. I already think you're cool. Yeah, me too. So you just take it easy out there. All right, partner? See ya. again I feel bad for the people of the old world
Hey, this is what it's all about, right? Taking a bit of time off to smell the roses. Or whatever that smell is.
Yeah, about that time, eh? Back to the grind.
impeccable timing. I was just about to run out. Mm -hmm. Better tools make... Hey, um, I thought the whole point of dragging you out here was getting you to relax, so relax. A book and quiet. I am relaxing. Or, at least I was. Ah, don't be like that. You're going to wreck your posture. Half the time hunks over a book, the other half a pottery wheel. Before you know it, you're gonna look like you're pushing 90. This, of course, is the only way to properly relax with a book. The sun, it burns! I'm melting! Save me! So now that you're out, you're having fun, aren't you? You know it's not easy convincing you, don't you? Hmm, indeed. You see... This is what you get when you win an argument with my sister. Hours of back-breaking labor, followed by terse acknowledgement at best. Mm-hmm. Which is all completely worthwhile. In any case, I think this all proves that I ought to be listened to once in a while. To constructive advice, brother. Of course. I'm all ears. But do remember that we didn't leave the harshness of Bonrock just to lie around here with books on our faces. Oh, I pray that you sleep no more at that place. My heart can hardly handle its very mention. Have you ever been to Barnarok? There is an old Barnarok saying, when it rains, it pours. Not in Barnarok, because it never rains nor pours. But, nah, well, it's okay for us to say it. I wouldn't go starting that one off. Our home is on a plateau. It gets hot during the summer and very cold during the winter. With little else to make up for it. No resources, no farmland, no opportunities. I guess the cantaloupes aren't half bad. I had to work in a crawler all day. And then I didn't have a cool boss like Rocky. One can only bear so much humiliation for daily bread. Finally, I just quit. And shortly after, this place has its faults. But one mustn't forget to see the trees or the forest. I might not be so impartial, but I've never enjoyed such freedom as being my own. And it's all because you brought me here and helped me get started, Am. I won't forget your kind- We're family. Besides, the true kindness is that of our parents. They gave up everything- Don't you worry. Pretty soon my shop is going to be raking it in. I'll take care of Ma and Pa. You just enjoy life. Confidence is one thing, brother, but perhaps you should wait to boast till after you've a little more to show for yourself. Huh, you hear that? I'm on the right track. Oh, brother. Don't get cocky, Avio. Need I remind you of the cash crunch incident involving your supplier not long ago? Oh, come on, Am. That's so last year. Let's live in the present. Have you tasted the food? Oh, brother. What? See ya.
Come one, come all. Perusing the views of Sound Rock. Does the beauty of the desert flower make you weak at the knees? Don't worry, take home a photograph. Show your friends and relatives the wonders that is the desert rose. Yeah, uh, let me get a, uh, yeah, one of those uh, desert rose ones? Certainly, sir. And while you're at it, why not take one of these as well? No, uh, j just that one will do. In fact, let me get five of them. Uh. Me too, me too. I saw them first. They're mine, I tell ya! Aha! There's no need to rush, everyone. So, what do you think, our beautiful desert rose? It deserves its reputation, no? <laughs> she most certainly does. Huh? She? I don't think a photograph has a chin there, sir. Cut the malarkey, shopkeep. A dozen desert roses. Chop, chop. Uh, right away, sir. The strangest thing is happening. Everyone is just obsessed with this photo in particular. What could it be? I don't get it. I just wish I knew more about photography. Well, in any case, can't I buy a photo? Hey, sis. Want to buy a photo? Avio! What are you doing? What is the meaning of this? You're selling pictures of me? Huh? No! Oh, this one. Well, yes, you're in it. But, no! I was just telling the builder here, there's something about the composition of this photo that really resonates with people. It's just a happy coincidence you're featured in it. Hey! You're gonna be famous! There's nothing happy about this. Nor is it any semblance of coincidence. Taurus have been pestering me constantly, asking me to sign this photo, calling me the Desert Rose. Explain that, Avio! Oh, the title of the photo is Desert Rose. That's my new name for Sanral. But there, you, they call you. Tan, oh, you creepy Taurus! Don't play dumb with me. You honestly expect me to believe you had no idea? It's been days! I... You? You did this! I barely even know you! What on earth? Uh, no, no, dear sister! Please! Not just trying to cover for me! It was all my ignorance and foolishness to blame for this. Avio, you would do well to develop some foresight whenever concocting these schemes of yours. This is doubly true whenever your plans involve an unwitting accomplice. I will be returning to my shop. My only hope is- Wow, she's really mad! Even more so than that time I ruined her kiln trying to make a pizza not stand! The thought of those greasy tourists- Really? You'll help- Alright, let's split up. Do whatever it takes to get those photos back! Hmm. For me? You want my desert rose photo? You're gonna have to. F I'm just kidding. Here you. You want my desert rose photo? Now I'm off to a turret. Har <laughs> nay. I can't be giving you my desert rose photo. It is mine, and I plan for it to comfort me on those lonely nights out at sea. However, were I to hear. One good reason why I shouldn't keep it. I might reconsider. I might. 
Walrus's this beard! At last, these photos are being distributed without her- Take this photo from my hands, young desert dweller. I shan't be needing it no more. And you can tell that silver-tongued salesman I'll be waiting for him in Davy Jones- heard your conversation with the shopkeeper guy and the desert rose I was hoping you Desert Rose? Photo? Nah, never heard of it. Shove off. Yeah, right. I paid good money for this pick. The other day, I was so tired from work. Wow, thank you so much. You know, if you weren't able to build this, we would have had to revert back to basic farming. In this heat and condition, most of the crops would have died, and that'd be the end of Sand Rock. It was that bleak, but you saved the day for all of us. Thank you. Let me do some cleaning around here. 
Then I'll teach you a few things about desert farming like I promised. I'll let you know when I'm ready. I don't get it. Thanks. Desert Rose? Ah, nah. <laughs> Made it free. You got all the photos? Wow, that was quick. How'd you do it? Goodness, well done. You must really have a way with words. I found it quite difficult to get anyone to part with their photos. Phew. It's finally over. But now, what am I to do with all these photos? Right. The only way to be completely sure that- Ah, oh, but I paid 50 gold to make all these cow you what? Well, think on it. In the meantime, why don't you take one as a mentor? I believe I can count on you to enjoy this photo the way it was meant to be enjoyed. As landscape photography, thank you again for all your support through this difficult time. Hopefully, my next business opportunity will have less disastrous results. Catch you around!
What's your favorite game over at the Golden Goose? So long, partner.
Hey! Yeah.